On a bad day, airports can be noisy, crowded, confusing and stressful. But there's a new trend to alleviate some of this stress for passengers by bringing elements of the natural world inside terminals. There are good examples of this at Vancouver International Airport and at Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. But in the Oslo Airport expansion project, they have taken this approach even further. So what were the architects looking to achieve and how did they go about it? One of the main issues of traveling is stress and unease. So what we want passengers coming through Oslo Airport to experience is a calmness, time to enjoy the airport, wanting to come back again, and experience the fact that they understand that they have come to the gateway of Scandinavia and to Norway. And doing that, we had a lot of tools in our bag. One is to stay with simplicity. That means that everybody could read where they need to go. Not a lot of signage. And as you probably recognize, there is no sound here. And Norwegians have a very close relationship to the nature. So one of the things we've done is a patch of nature into, into the building. And we've done that by putting trees into the food court downstairs and we have green walls that you pass when you enter the building, and we have waterfalls as well. Everything, really important parts of the Norwegian scenery, if you want. So creating these pockets of quietness and tranquility is really important in relation to a stressful journey. Norway is famous for its dramatic landscapes, and the materials used for the Oslo Airport project have been specially selected to ensure the airport feels in harmony with its surroundings and provides travelers with a distinct sense of place. Norway's got a lot of wood, as the rest of, of Scandinavia as well. So we tried to interpret that by bringing that into the building. Meaning, for example, here, you can see that the main structure is a timber structure. Harvesting daylight is a really, really interesting thing. Because the Scandinavians and the Norwegians have very much of it during the summer months and almost nothing during the winter months. So daylight defines us. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of glazing here. It's not only to take care of visibility and sight lines, but it's also harvesting daylight. Another area that we took our inspiration from the nature was in the duty-free area, where we put in some stones that direct the passenger flows and separate international and domestic passengers. So it's a group of stones like you see stones in the creek, in the Norwegian creek. But harnessing nature did not stop with the materials used to build the airport. As part of their goal to make Oslo Airport as environmentally sustainable as possible, a way was even found to make a positive out of their massive winter snowfall. We're harvesting snow on the runways during the winter. We collect them and it helps cooling the building in summer. If you look at where we're standing now, the pier structure has a shape like a tube, which gives us a very limited surface to the environment, which again means that we spend less energy for uh, heating the building during the winter. And we have obtained over 60% of all passengers using the airports from Oslo using public transport. So all these issues gave the building the rating of Bream excellent. We just only a couple of points from achieving Bream outstanding, which is the best ever. So this is a really, really great Bream airport.